Hey guys, welcome back to NC State Dendrology. Uh, in this video, we're we'll going to be talking about Saltus levigata, um, which is our um, southern hackberry um, or sugarberry. Um, southern um, hackberry is in the Cannabaceae family, that is our hemp family, that also has marijuana in it, you guessed correctly. Um, it has a fruit that is a droop, um, that is a dull brown color. Um, this droop is actually pretty commonly eaten, um, especially in the past amongst Native Americans. The specific epithet, levigata, means smooth, and that's referring to its leaves. We'll see it take a look at those over here. If you look at these leaves, you can see that they're simply, um, they're simple leaves that are alternately arranged along the stem. Um, if you look at each individual leaf, um, this used to be in the Olmaceae family, and that was because it actually has sometimes an oblique leaf. Um, not always, but that's typical of the Ulm family. Um, so if you see that, it might remind you of it. But beyond that, it's going to be this kind of elliptical leaf with that um, acuminate tip and that rounded leaf base. Um, they can have serrations near the tip of the leaf, but they don't always have serrations on the leaves. Um, the actual bark is probably going to be your best indicator. So if you come back over here and look at the bark, you can see that this is a smooth bark that has many warts on it. So it's a very warty bark. So the warts can be variable. We'll look at a couple of other ones in a second um, to see the different kinds of warts. Um, but typically you're going to have very smooth bark, especially near the top of that tree. And as you come down near the base, you're going to see way more of those warty um, ridges, um, which are very typical of Celtis labigata and other hackberries. Um, Saltus levigata is pretty common near streams and riverbeds and water areas. Um, there's other hackberries that are common in our state that are on more um, dry sites, but you should definitely look um, near water if you want to find this tree. The bark of this tree was actually traditionally used by Native Americans uh, for um, a couple of things. Uh, if you created a concoction of the bark, um, you could actually treat sore throats um, and also when there was a decoction made of the crushed bark and shells, um, those were treated, um, those were used to treat venereal diseases. Here so you can see um, a couple other, other forms of the bark, see how much more knobby it is, and then its friends over here are even more warty. Look how many warts are on those trees. So just don't be fooled. Um, underneath all that you have a smooth bark, but typically it can be very warty, especially near the base of that leaf, but you can check those, or those that trunk, you can check those leaves and still see that. Um, they can sometimes be rough near the top of the leaf, um, but not always, especially on juvenile leaves, um, but that can help you distinguish it from other things. So that is Celtis levigata, our southern hackberry.